please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey, welcome back to my channel everyone. It's Pinnacle Trading here. Today we took a nice trade on BA, that's Boeing. We got a nice $8 move on the day trade and I'll show you how I found that trade, how I took it, and my technical analysis, anal analysis on the trade itself. Before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you haven't already. And if you're a subscriber that's coming back, thank you for watching my videos. So let's jump into it. So we took Boeing today and I alerted this from 328.85. That was the initial push position that I took and we exited on this one about 333 for a nice $5 move, but it ran up all the way to 336, which makes it a about $8 move on this one. So we took an entry, I alerted entry about 328.85 on this one. So about 328.85. So that was on that this candle right here, actually entered a pre-market at 328.85, added more right below at a 329 and ran up just right over there. So how did I find this trade? How did I know that it was gonna go up once market opened? up and uh, how did I actually what was actually going in my mind when I took this trade so I'll go over that break it down step by step and show you how easy it can be to find these type of trades uh, if you know the stock itself if you know the movement so I know how Boeing moves uh, I know that anytime it dips it's one of the biggest stocks and being that it, people love to invest in this one for long term just like apple uh, microsoft anything like that if it comes down a lot people are looking to get back in or enter invest in a lot for a long term because it's a solid long-term grower if you take a look at the long-term chart just take a look at this one notice how it's been growing from about 50s all the way to 446 so that that's almost 900 thousand percent return on this one but being that looking at the short term chart, I've been seeing up and down swings on this one, but anytime it heads to that 320, 325 range, that's where it bounces off of. So keep that 325 in mind. So mark that down on the chart, 325. Notice how anytime it hits that 325 right over here, if it breaks it, it comes back up immediately and goes up. 325 area comes, bounces off of it, goes up. 325 again bounce off a little notice that big volume big volume over here and the big volume over here so that's one thing keep that uh support level in mind 325 and why am i saying 325 what did i see what did i see secretly on this one there's no secret on this one it's basically i'm using my pinnacle fibonacci script this is free in the chat room in the education section uh, if you head over here and scroll up to the Fibonacci. This is the free script that I give as to everyone in the chat room. The chat room is free to join, link is in the description. So make sure to get that. And also these are the steps to follow it. So I use that and I found that the 78.6 retracement Fibonacci level, where is it? It's right over here, 325. It's really that easy to identify key support and resistance levels on stocks like these. So I found that 325.5 area is or 325 a whole number is that is a big support for this one anytime it hits that area it bounces off so we we'll see how it plays out one two three so what's going to happen here same thing people love to anticipate the trades and they love to see how other people will trade it how the institutions will trade it as well so if you know that it's going to bounce off 325 why would you not buy this one because you have statistics and probability on your side which is the biggest thing in the stock market so that was the second thing at first i saw it bounce off 325 second thing i saw it's fibonacci support as well the third thing i'll show you this is more advanced and i'll teach this in my course which is coming out very soon is going to be let's jump back into the daily chart and I use a Bollinger Band setup on this one. Uh, I didn't use my normal setup. I usually like my Bollinger Band setup in the day trade. And I go over this in my course as well, which is coming out very soon. I found that pre-market support. Where is it? It's about 325. Uh, 327 actually on this one. So it didn't even get to 325. So that's why I took an initial entry about 328.85. I was looking for entry by 327s, missed it, was a little busy this morning, and I took an entry by 328.85. So that was at 850. 
at a little bit right when markets open right below 329. So that was on this candle right here at 329 when it jumped up. So I added again right below 329. And what happened from there? My script fire and alert, I saw bounce off the lower Bollinger Band and break of the mid Bollinger Band and it ran up all the way. So when you take a look at the normal script, I saw break over Webop. So it ran up my script fired on buy alert on this one too but also saw that break over we bought break over 50 sma and boom it just ran up notice the big volume that came in notice the big green engulfing candle notice the macd rsi and also nice hold of the 9 ema and right up so that's how i took this day trade so entered there what happened kept going up kept going up no reason to sell yet because we're hitting that upper band but that's fine. But being that people love to uh, come in on this, invest, we might have had shorts covering from the previous day, made a nice squeeze up there. So I was looking for about 330, 332 or so, but we got nice 336. So that's why I took my initial profits. I alerted it about three, three from eight, 318. And I took a profit about four dollar move and a five dollar move so i said take final profits about 333.3 so that was a five dollar move on that one what happened right there uh, volume died out a little bit so being that when the upper band of the bollinger band uh we saw a sell alert right here so as soon as i saw at 333 area 332.5 i saw this big green candle and this candle shortening out so i'll zoom in a little bit more and then i saw volume dying out i saw level two people get getting ready to sell so it's really important to read the level two as well which i'll teach you in this course and what happened right there notice that red candle very weak over there i uh, just sold off from there but we got a nice move from 328.85 to about 336 336.23 on the highs right there so just about a seven to eight dollar move on this day trade if you took this alert with me uh congrats to anyone who took this with me in the chat room it was a solid move so that's how i found this trade so very simple first thing notice the key price support points notice the resistance level it's about 330 it'll usually be about every 5 10 for these type of stocks and that's where it was 335 area so it's looking for about anywhere between 330 to 335 to get out and next thing look at the fibonacci I'm giving it out for free, something that I set up, uh, it took me a couple months to set up, but I'm giving it out for free so that you guys can all use it. And that's in the education section right over there, right over here to set it up. And also just notice the uh, volume and level two and also different uh, setups that basically stink signal you a buy. If you don't have a, the script, that's fine. I have it that I coded myself, but just Notice that uh, RSI and MACD reversal, and also notice that uh, we will break out. So that's how I found this trade on Boeing. Again, if you are interested in the course that is coming out very soon, and also the chat room is completely free to join. This, all these alerts that I'm putting out, it's completely free to join. And you can join the chat room by clicking the button over there on the YouTube site or my channel itself, or the link will be in the description. Or you can also head over to pinnacletrading.us and scroll down to join the chat room it's completely free it will always be free to everyone and also pinnacle trading course coming very soon so if you are interested in the course or have any questions let me know in the general chat uh, give me a shout out and if you have an interest uh, in the course uh, just say that you do or if you have any questions just let me know so i hope this video helped you out and i'll see you all again in my next video take care have a wonderful week of trading uh, stay safe out there. Markets are pretty volatile. So we'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified. And make sure to support Pinnacle Trading on social media.